Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft's new head of Windows advertising, web experience and web services has been quite active, as I have been mentioning recently over on X, formerly known as Twitter. And even today, I posted a video in this regard where um, Microsoft had asked users to vote on which UX framework in Windows they should invest more in. And I'll leave that video down below. Now, the latest is that... Um, Microsoft's head of Windows has now done a comparison between Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And I actually thought this post over on X was quite interesting. And I'm forever seeing on the channel the ongoing kind of OS war in the comments regarding Windows and Linux. So I thought this may be interested and some of you may find this of interest. Now, first of all, just to break the three OSs down into different um, kind of categories, just for the purpose of today's video, as many of you will know, Mac OS gives more priority over the user experience and integrating the user into the Apple ecosystem, which means that the user has then less options to basically customize and less emphasis is placed on ind individual user customization. So that's just a quick summary of Mac OS. Obviously, this is not a, um, a comprehensive summary of each OS, but just a quick one as mentioned. Now, Linux obviously is known for being open source and has plenty of customization options, which mainly appeals to your more tech-savvy user. And then Windows obviously is um, more flexible and compatible with um older programs and apps and hardware and software which basically allows uh, the user to personalize the actual experience a lot more so that's just a breakdown of the three os's now over on x um, microsoft's head of windows and so on has commented regarding this and has compared windows more to be similar with linux and has said and i'm quoting in terms of philosophy of usage, if Linux is on one end of the specter, which um, they basically mean that it's more customizable, you can basically change anything in, in uh, Linux and has multiple approaches to everything. And Apple products on another, which means Apple is more uh, prioritized on the integration and integrating you into the Apple ecosystem. Then he says that Windows is much closer to Linux, just better tested. And I thought that was interesting. And I must be honest, I do have to agree that I think Windows is more closer to Linux. And um, Microsoft has been giving Linux quite a lot of attention um, over the last couple of months. So I don't know if this is just a pull to get more Linux users into Windows or not. But nonetheless, and just on a side note, um, if you are interested in basically um, some Linux distros that are very similar to uh, Windows, then the first one I would recommend uh, is Linux Mint. And I actually uh, dual boot Linux Mint on my Windows 10 device. And I actually found it a very um, stable, very pleasant kind of experience when you're using it. Uh, very uh, versatile and very um, almost calming to some extent or the other. And then Zorin OS is another one you can try out, very similar to the Windows layout. And then, of course, as I've mentioned previously, we get Linux Lite. And all three of these um, Linux distros, as an example, can breathe new life into older hardware. But nonetheless, I um, just thought that post by Microsoft's head of Windows was interesting, where he says that Windows is more similar to Linux than it is to Mac OS. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree or don't you agree? I always appreciate con constructive comments down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.